Where's an article I ran across yesterday and put it on my website? That's another reason why you should uh, get a subscription or an alert membership to my website because not only do I send you alerts when I send out an article, but also from time to time I provide security alerts and things of that nature. But if I were you, I'd make a habit of uh, going to my website and reading the latest news section because it kind of gives you information of what's going on during that day. But here's something that uh, Pre President Trump has done again. He has upped the ante of uh, the relationship between Israel and the United States. And here's the article. It says, U.S. and Israel reach joint plan to counter Iran. And you have to believe that it's going to make Israel and also their leadership very happy. And here's what the article says. It says, the uh, U.S. and Israel have reached a joint strategic work uh, plan to counter Iranian activity in the Middle East. U.S. and Israeli officials said the uh, joint understandings were reached in a secret meeting between senior Israeli and U.S. delegations at the White House on December 12th. Now, what does this mean? It says a senior U.S. official said that uh, after two days of talks, the U.S. and Israeli or Israel reached a, a joint document which included understanding on counter countering Iranian actions in the region. The U.S. officials said the document goals uh, was to translate President Trump's Iran speech to joint U.S.-Israeli strategic goals regarding Iran and to set up a joint work group, or should I say work plan. Now here, who's, here's who, who's involved. It says the Israeli team was headed by the NASA security advisor, Mir bin Shabbat, and included senior representatives of the Israeli military, Minister of Defense, Foreign Ministry, and Intelligence Community. The U.S. side was headed by NASA Security Advisor H.R. McMaster and included senior representatives from the National Security Council, State Department, Department of Defense, and the Intelligence Community. Now here's what they had to say about what was part of the understanding. It says, as part of the understanding that uh, were reached uh, the U.S. and Israeli decided to form a se uh, form several working groups according to the joint goals. Number one, the covert, or covert and diplomatic actions to block Iran's path to nuclear weapons. According to the U.S. officials, this working group will deal with diplomatic steps that can be taken as part of the Iran nuclear deal to further monitor and verify that Iran is not violating the deal. It also includes diplomatic steps outside of the nuclear deal to put more pressure on Iran. The working group will deal with uh, possible covert steps against the Iranian nuclear uh, program. Number two, countering Iran or Iranian activity in the region, especially the Iranian entrenchment uh, efforts in uh, Syria and the Iranian support for Hezbollah and other terror groups. This working group will also deal with drafting U.S.-Israeli policy regarding the day after in a Syrian war or a civil war scenario. So that's something that I think is going to be very important because once this civil war is over, you can see a bunch of these different militias and terrorist groups that are now in Syria that are going to be congregating toward Iran. And it'll be interesting to see how they actually keep this from uh, developing. But as we know, the Bible does say that at some point in time, there will be a great army uh, that will develop between Iran, Turkey, and uh, Russia. And of course, there will be a number of different nations, uh, uh, such as Libya. And speaking of Libya, um, Turkey is now being accused of uh, building a base in Lebanon. Or I'm sorry, in Libya. Of course, they've come out and flatly denied it. But the bottom line is, is that they're saying that they're, they are building something there, but they're saying that it's they're just building up the ruins that are located in that area, their Islamic ruins. But presently what they are being accused of is building a military base there. Now on the number three, it says countering Iranian ballistic missiles development and the Iranian precision project aimed at manufacturing precision guided missiles in Syria and Lebanon for Hezbollah to be used against Israel in a future war. Again, this is going to be very difficult to control and uh, manage. And number four, it says joint U.S.-Israeli preparation for different escalation scenarios in the region concerning Iran, Hezbollah, Syria, in Lebanon, 
uh, I'm sorry, Hezbollah in Lebanon, and uh, Hamas in, G in uh, Gaza. Now, senior Israeli officials confirmed that the U.S. and Israel have arrived at strategic understandings regarding Iran that would uh, strengthen the cooperation in countering regional challenges. Now, this is what an Israeli official said. It says the U.S. and Israel um, see eye to eye the different developments in the region and especially those that are connected to Iran. Our understandings deal with the uh, overall strategy, but also with concrete goals, way of action, and the means which need to be uh, used to get uh, obtain those goals. And this is something they're going to roll out in the uh, year 2018, but it'll be interesting to see who else comes on board with this. I know that Saudi Arabia is involved. In fact, uh, from an article I read from Stratfor, Israel and Saudi Arabia are about ready to go covert on their relationship that they are they have been uh, sharing information for years but it's about ready to become mainstream and I also have a feeling that this um, plan between Israel the United States and I like I said I do believe Saudi Arabia will be involved is going to be this type of a, of a regional development or plan that uh, of of uh, action that may develop into a regional peace plan. We'll see if that actually comes to, that, comes to pass. But I think we're looking at the beginning stages of possibly a peace proposal between the uh, modern Arab world, Israel, and the United States. Now, whether or not that will turn out to be the uh, seven-year peace accord or the peace with many that the Bible talks about is still unknown. And certainly there's going to be some other things we're going to learn about here in the near future that will regard to how the world will continue to uh, react toward uh, the U.S. and other, and uh, from what I hear, Guatemala is about ready to recognize uh, Israel, or Jerusalem as Israel capital and move their embassy to Jerusalem as well. We'll see, uh, see who else comes on board with that uh, move. You know, but the Bible is pretty clear in Zechariah 12:3 that the world will try to pick up the burdensome stone that is Jerusalem. Uh, in these last days. And like I said, I believe we're in that era now. But I would look at uh, who in the world it gets involved in this plan and also how many nations do. I think you're going to be looking at, like I said, the modern Arab world, Israel, and the United States on one end. And on the other end, you're looking at Iran, Russia, Syria, Hezbollah, and uh, possibly Iraq, and a number of the southern countries such as uh, Sudan and possibly Egypt. Oh, and I did forget Turkey as well. But there certainly might be a great divide that will lead to this Ezekiel 38-39 war that the Bible says is still yet to come. But that's all I have for you on this. I uh, just wanted to keep you up to date on that, uh, any information that's coming out of the Middle East. And if, don't forget, if you would still want to support this ministry, uh, there's still time. You can either go to calvaryprophecy.com, email me, or you can... Uh, Go to the link that is provided in the description section down below. It will take you to PayPal, and you can put in uh, oh, the uh, email account number that's listed as well. And if you have a question regarding that, just uh, be, be um, sure to get a hold of me either to the comment section, or you can, again, you can go to my website and email me. And if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. Uh, don't put it off. Whether you are left behind or you die before the rapture takes place, eventually we're all going to come and face God. And the only thing that's going to matter is if you know the Lord is Savior. So my recommendation is not to put it off, but uh, to make that decision today. So come to the Lord today, ask Him to save you. And you Christians, uh, don't forget about getting your lost loved ones and your friends a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide. There's a free version and there's also a paperback version. Go down to the description section in, the, uh, in this video. Click on that link and it'll take you to where you can get either the free version which is written in nine different languages. And thanks again for those who helped pay for getting it translated into nine different languages. Or you can get the English written paperback version and you can physically hand it to your lost loved one. But I'd recommend that you do that as quickly as possible. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.